If somebody in my last video, or one of my last ones, they point out it's not a good idea to drink liquor or alcohol and shoot firearms. That's right, it's not. So let's make it a let's make it a stupid idea. Let's take this 50 BMG A Max round here. It's made of lead. And let's take my two turn T here. Oh yeah. It's gonna work out good, brother. And we'll do <laughs> we'll do some shotgun before we do some shooting, brother. I'm probably gonna do this off camera here, but trust me. Oh yeah. Sorry, spilt some. <laughs> Been a hot minute. Okay, now I got tea on my table. Man, it's been a hot minute since I shot got any freaking any beers or anything. But what the main, main purpose of this video was uh, I'm never too good to admit like if I'm wrong or if maybe I should try something different. Uh, I always been that way like you know sometimes people know better and I always look for people who if I'm at the gym you know maybe they're fucking jacked like I might want to do what that guy does not what the fat ass does uh or shooting so I I watch all kinds of gun tubers and I love pew view because I mean that guy can shoot fucking good and what a few months ago back he had a video where he was gripping the gun the normal way and then the way he does it and it looked like it worked a lot better. And over the past few months since then, I've been trying it, and it does work a lot better it's for recoil control, for sure, 100%. Uh, it's a little awkward at first, so I was just going to put this out there. So if you guys want to try it, you know, don't be afraid to admit maybe, hey, maybe I, maybe I was wrong about something. Try something new. Learn from somebody, you know. I'm not one of them old guys that's like, this is the way you gotta fucking do it every time. It's just not the case. So, uh, I just brought the 22 out. I don't know. Because I was shooting this the other day. Pretty fast, the grip. I'll go over and I'll put my camera on the bipod there. And it was working really good. And I did it with my 9mm and stuff. I never tried it with a 10mm yet. So, I got some SIG ammo. 180 grain. And this is the... Did I get T over my guns, too? <laughs> Yeah, like a rookie over here. Uh, yeah, so this is Smith & Wesson 1006. Very awesome gun. It's stainless steel. It doesn't really kick or recoil too much. Uh, this is a Glock G40. It's a uh, 6 inch barrel, like 6 6.1 inch or something like that. 6.9, we'll get 6.9, I like that. This, uh, this actually has a lot of like upward recoil to it. And, you know, I shoot 500 mag and stuff, so I'm used to... It's not bad, but, I mean, it does, like, for for whatever reason. I don't know if it's a longer barrel, but... So, we're going to try it on there. I've got a pallet sitting kind of beside me here. To kind of measure the distance. I'll kind of put the camera over there. We'll just try it, make a quick little video. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'll show you, like, the grip that everybody normally does. Don't mind that. That thing is still... It got burned, like, on vacation from God knows what. And it has not fucking healed. Anyway, so you grip it, finger on trigger, and then you kind of wrap your hands around there. And what I usually do, I grip this, thumbs forward. That's kind of the normal stance, and it works good. That's the way I always shot. The way he does it is you kind of hold the gun normal, and then you put your hands up here, and then you kind of, like, get your meat of your hand up here. I mean, with this short barrel, you got to be fucking careful. <laughs> but... Like this almost. It's kind of hard on this gun. Let me try. So you got this. Yeah, it's a little better. So you're up here. You're not on the slide. And you got to be careful with the... Like he had a flashlight. And on my 9, I have flashlight. So it kind of works better. But you want to keep this up high. But still kind of wrap your hands too. Like this. And we'll try it. And we'll see if it works. Okay, just to sum it up here, uh, yeah, with the Glock, big difference on recoil. Like I said, that Smith, it's, you can't even really tell. But this thing, it's just, 
I, I don't know if it's because of the barrel length or what. Uh, the BBG, the big black lock. Uh, the one thing, when I shoot my 9mm, I have the flashlight on there. Uh, it gives you something to hold on to. I noticed like this, you got to watch because it wasn't letting the slide lock open on the last round. But it works fine. So you got to really work with that grip. So I found some old ammo, an old lead round in here. Maybe I'll show you. I'm going to shoot a few rounds. Let's try uh, the lead round on Mr. Turkey. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can take down that there elephant with a full metal jacket. Oh, yeah. You got to love 10 millimeter. Let's see. There's a tiny crow up there. Let's see if I can hit him. Oh, I love this gun. This has to be one of the best shooting Glocks or handguns just ever. 10 millimeter, and it shoots so good. Dude. Huh. I took, <laughs> took out part tree. Uh, let's go for that little round up there. Oh, I think I pulled that last second. But there it is. I love this gun. I'm going to shoot some more of this gun. But thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one.